What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. This is the Third Person Podcast. My name is Chris, and with me, as always, are my boys, Jesse and Mike. How's it go? Burp. Burp. Guys, what's up? We are reviewing episode seven of The Walk... I'm sorry, season seven of The Walking Dead, episode 13, entitled Bury Me Here. And what yes. a great episode this was. I think we all really enjoyed this episode, especially after yep. uh, the past the, the, the past bunch of them. Hell yeah. Hell um, yeah. So, uh, yeah, so we're going to be doing our ratings this this episode. And, uh, Jesse, what, what the hell do we do with that? What is that about? All right, so we have five total categories, four of which really count. The four are story ratings, visuals, uh, character slash acting, and music slash sound, which all tally into our overall. Okay. And we use the rating system walkers as opposed to stars. And yes. zero through five. Yes, that's right. Damn it. Uh, <laughs> right. So we're gonna we're gonna give them walkers that we do. Uh, so Mikey, you usually start us off. Uh, what yes, do you sir. got, bud? Well, uh, overall, um, I love the episode. Okay, I'm gonna get right into the story part of it. I'm gonna give it a four right off the bat. Ooh. And Mita, you uh, can see if that? you <laughs> if you see that shit, if you watched any of these previous um uh reviews of these episodes you've known that i've been really hard on the show and this is big 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 redemption um for story i just pretty much wrote um i just love the fact that it gave us so much after these last sh- three shitty episodes yeah. and i loved how the the, sh- the episode was about how now everybody realizes that let's let's fight and let's fucking take care of business you know cool. um, i think one of those was only crappy the other two were mediocre yeah. right. come on yeah. <laughs> okay. come. all right well you'll see that some of these some of these numbers you're gonna be you're gonna be shocked so for visuals um i'm gonna give it a three okay nothing too too spectacular um but of course we had a little a little shot of shiva okay. which shiva always looks cool to me yeah. and when the girl had come out and they were talking about the the fruit and the veg in the garden all this kind of stuff and she was just laying there it was it was it was cool she she always gives us um they always do really good with her and i guess maybe yeah. that's why we saw the shitty ass deer last week that everybody <laughs> they put all their money in shiva all right yeah. i mean um, you got to put your money where it counts yeah, yeah uh, i think that um there was a lot of cool walker kills uh with carol and um, with Morgan this episode when Carol was in yeah. the tree and she was stabbing you know the walkers with the with the, with the stop sign or whatever the hell it was or the speed sign whatever it was so um the visuals for a lot of these deaths were were pretty cool um one last little thing with the visuals was with Ben's injury when Ben was on the table and the blood was just splurting from the vein you know the artery in his leg and Very I just well thought done. That, that kind of stuck out a little bit to me and how the blood was dripping through and and after he passes you saw the big pool underneath the table that he was on so I thought that was pretty cool so they kind of you know nothing too crazy I gave it a three um three walkers now the character part of this I'm giving it a four right off the bat I think this is one of the best acted episodes that we've seen in a long time. Um, even though we didn't get um, a re- uh, like a majority of the main main cast, I mean with Rick and and, and these kind of, but we did see some outstanding work with Richard. I thought, even though you know we find out that he's a you know, his well, Lenny James is part. Yeah. yeah, but Richard did Brian when Kent. he was speaking with Morgan about his past story and his backstory of the group he came from. And I think he did a great job. Yeah. Morgan, of yeah. course, like come on, like we don't have to say much about him. He was just fucking phenomenal. And even though Carol had her little glimps, you know, little glimpses throughout the episode, in the end, um, when Morgan told her, "Hey, listen, do you want to know what's going on? Do you want to know the truth about what happened?" and um, even though Carol didn't say much with the tears and just her reactions were great. Um, so just the characters and the acting was, was fucking off the charts, uh, on this one. So I gave it a four and, um, for music, I'm giving it a four also in, in this episode, the beginning acoustic, um, uh, uh, little riff that we heard when we first saw the right, truck yeah, yeah. And, and Ezekiel closing yeah. the gates of the truck with the one can with the one cantaloupe or whatever the fuck it was. We were all kind of like, oh, this is you know, it's a cool little sound, but like, why are they loading yeah, up? What's one, going on? One fucking. It, was a mi- it wasn't know, even a minute long. It was like, yeah. yeah. Um, and I also wrote. Um, there was a lot of cool mu- um, music, and 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 sound when when Morgan was flipping, when Morgan was kind of changing a little bit, yeah. you know, and going back to his, when he was, when we were seeing the glimpses and those flashes of sound of, of images of Dwayne and, and, um, you know, um, all those little signs and the clear that we saw written yeah, yeah, some, yeah. you know, all those kind of things. So, actually, um, yeah. 
Yeah, the sounds and the effects were pretty good. Um, and also, last thing I wrote was when you heard the the crushing um, of the of the strangling, you know, that Morgan was causing oh, yeah. on Richard, and and when he was slamming his head into the ground, you know, just just overall, this episode is just a fucking big redemption episode to me. Um, I'm excited that we got an extra about ten minutes or so uh, from the episode. Um, you know, other than that, overall, it's about a 3.75. I'll round it up. I'll, I'll give it uh, four walkers. Fucking huge redemption episode for me. I'm excited. And hopefully, you know, within these these next couple few, they get better. You know, um, I, I want to say if you think your numbers are crazy, I'm pretty sure Chris and mine are going to be even crazier. Yeah. <laughs> Just say. <laughs> well, I guess so. let me let me get to mine then. Uh, story. I gave it a four point five. Um it was it was pretty pretty damn good, pretty damn good. I mean, it didn't get a a, a five because um, it had to be Jesus flying from the sky. Coming yeah, down. Uh, exactly. It had to, to be like everything. It had to be like like you know like but a four point five because the story we're talking yeah. about what happened exactly you know mm-hmm. I, you know Richards Richards idea and the way everyone reacted like that's what I'm talking about. So I just a pretty damn good uh, visuals. I gave it a four. Uh, we got, you know, the same uh, very well done zombie effects. Uh, Shiva, again, you know, um, looking good. Although, I, 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 did, I think it could have been... A, it's it's looked better, but definitely better than the deer. But still looking good. Oh, my God. We could... <laughs> you know? And overall, and overall I, the, cinemato- the cinematography for this episode was fucking haunting. Like, it was really good. Like, Mike, you mentioned... Oh, yeah. You mentioned the blood coming through, but then as it's stripping on the carpet and spreading out, you know, all this stuff, most, you know, you know, most of those pro promo images that we made that video for were like from this episode. Yeah. We saw the a lot shopping of carts, the cantaloupe, the seeds, you know, all that the yep. seeds. Yeah. Yep. So yep. this, this was an episode, the cinematography definitely meshed with, with what was going on so well, so well. Mm-hmm. So I gave that a four characters, uh, slash acting. Um, I gave it a five. I gave it a five guys because all around great performances, even from the douchebag saviors, you know, like, yeah, I multiple times that I either choke up or get a little, you know, misty eyed, like just, just because, and it's just like, and Jesse mentions it like a thousand times about Lenny James's, um, acting in the episode. You know what I mean? Uh, it, was, it was, it was it's phenomenal, phenomenal, man. Yeah. Uh, Richard did well. Uh, even the savior, mm-hmm. like even, even the douchebag, the, the, you know, the leader of the savior group, yeah, I want you to know. talk about him in the discussion. So just remind me yeah, to bring some. Yeah, but you know what I mean. But like everyone, yeah. everyone did. It was it was such a Carol. Everyone's interactions. Mm-hmm. I gave it. A, I had to give it a five. Um, we'll talk yeah. about that more later. And the music. Um, I gave it a four. It. I felt it really. I, I felt it in this episode. It. I yeah. felt it. You know. It really enhanced. Yeah. This is an episode where they they utilize the music very very well, and it definitely enhanced the mood in the story. So my overall rating is going to be a 4.5 for this episode. And I think Sweet. that's the highest that we've gotten. Probably. At least that I've given. I think that yeah. I've given. Yeah. I think I gave one 4.5 previously 4. for 5, the yeah. season premiere or mid season yeah. premiere. So I guess it's on me now. Yep. Oops, and you're going to see some very familiar numbers here. <laughs> so story rating, like they've said, probably the best story we've had this mid season so far. Yeah. Uh, Oh it's hell yeah! Phenomenal. Four point five. Four point five. Can't yeah. can't give it anything else other than that. It's good. The visuals, again, just between the Morgan flipping out thing, that really got me there. Uh, I was like, Jesus, yeah, just so well done. You got to see Dwayne and everything that's molded Morgan into what he is now. So it's a four again. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> like I said, very familiar numbers. Characters and acting. We didn't get. One, but two fives, because I gave it another five. Part of it, I, I was like, I was misty eyed. I said that at, at the end of the reaction. reaction yeah. And then you connect it with the characters really well this episode. Yeah. And yeah. they did phenomenal job. Richard, yeah. uh, Morgan, Carol, uh, Carrie Payton, who plays Ezekiel. Ezekiel, yeah. Just the rage he had at the end. And the surprise. Yeah, he didn't, yeah, he didn't, he didn't say did. much. Yeah, he didn't say much, but... You, you know, yeah. that's that's what makes great actors. You know, they don't have to say something sometimes to see. And and Morgan is and Lenny James is 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 yeah. does is like that is noted for that. Yeah. So characters and acting five. Yeah. 
Uh, a four for music because it's just amazing what they did with it. And my overall was a 4.5. Yeah. But I have something to say about this 4.5. We've been harsh on the past episodes, and rightly so. Oh, sure, yeah. they didn't have all the content that they could have had. They had the gravity they needed for the episode. It wasn't a major episode. This episode, a phenomenal episode. And yeah, we're praising it quite a bit. Yeah. And I was probably a cliche reviewer with that five, as was Chris. Hey. But when you got to give it the props it has... Yeah. This episode was very impacting, and the whole, like, yeah. uh, what was it, 45 minutes? We got an extra, like, 10 minutes? Like, it didn't feel 45 minutes-ish. It didn't feel uh, like no, a full we, hour it, and it, 10 it minutes. Flew. It, it flew. fucking flew. Yeah, we, yeah, flew. yeah, it flew. It flew. Like, I, I uh, guarantee you, we sat down, and I was like, Jesus Christ, guys, we're at 40 minutes in already. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. And our overall rating, uh, it was a 4.3 repeating, but... Being as it was such a great episode, I'm giving it four point five. Yeah, four point. You yeah, got man. to. Yeah, yeah, Definitely. man. Definitely four point five. So, guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as we did. Please, if you haven't seen our live reaction to the episode, go check it out. And right. uh, why don't you go check out the discussion where we're going to talk in more in depth about everything that we felt about this episode. Basically, we're going to oh, yeah. the shit out of it. Um. So, <laughs> um. Spoiler alert. Watch it. Uh, <laughs> watch it. Um, <laughs> guys, two things. Uh, if you don't already know what's on the screen, you can uh, head over to our friends at comicblitz.com and get yourself some free right. comics. We've got a promo code over there running right now, uh, Third Person Pod, and that will get you your first three months of any subscription for $3. That's $1 a month for the first three months. $3 gets you any one of their subscriptions, so you can get unlimited comics. And they've got some of the some of the top names in there, some of the top um, you know stories. Go go there, get your binge on, and uh, tell them we sent you by putting in the code. Yep. Uh, also, uh, go check us out on iTunes. If you're hearing us on iTunes, Absolutely. thank you very much. If you're watching us on YouTube, thank you very much. Uh, but if you are on iTunes, if you wouldn't mind, throw a little rating in there. Let us know what you think about our stuff. If, you, if, you, if you're enjoying this, um we're happy to have gotten this on itunes too so if you listen to us there awesome and guys hit us up at the socials if you want at third person pod or just keep doing what you're doing throwing us uh comments in the section in the comment section below we really appreciate it i mean we really do guys i just want to i just want to yeah. go out of, my, out of my way here and take a little extra time to say thank you very much for all of the support and the comments and the questions and just the reactions, you know, it's yep. great. And listen, we'll take any feedback, good, bad, or otherwise, and we'll answer no, we've, you. We've gotten some of that. <laughs> we've gotten oh, some yeah. doozies. And you know what? That's that's awesome because you know what? You're still taking the fucking time to say something. Yeah. And, you know, as long as you're not making fun of us for some dumb reason, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. Like, um, uh, I know Mike and I, and I know you do too, you check it out during your work day. But, like, we're really busy during the day, and sure, we don't respond right away sometimes, and sometimes we do. But we sit down and we're like, yo, this guy's making a good point. Yeah. And or she's making it. a we really good it. point. We discuss yeah. You know, guys, have you checked out the comment on this? And then, you know, if one of us, yeah. if we all, and we discuss it. So trust me. And, and like yeah. Jesse said, we'll definitely get to you. Don't worry about it. We just, yeah, we're, we're all, we're all working. We're all doing our thing. This is, this is our side gig for now. So. It's a nice reprieve to read you guys' comments. Yeah, it's great. So yep. I just wanted to take a little extra time to say thank you very much. And we really appreciate it. So. Uh, I think that's going to do it. So, again, check out the live reactions. Check out the discussion. Thank you very much, guys. And we will see you on the next um, review we do for the show. So, thank you very much, and peace out. Peace.